Welcome back to Shovel Knight. I'm going to take on the first main level for the third area, the Stranded Ship, and this is the Lair of the Polar Knight as well. There's a lot of ice here, so we're going to be sliding around all over the place. There's some trapped secrets with, uh, with bombs here, some new enemies to face. Uh, a couple of music sheets to find, which are, I think, right at the very end of the level is uh, where we'll find the, uh, the music sheets. I'm just going to work my way across the top here. Oops. Just so I can pick up this chest. I'm not going to worry about all, picking up all of the gems along the way though. Now, as long as I can get through it, I'll be okay. Um, I think this is a, a little gem trout here, a golden trout for 350 gold. May as well pick it up. No, no, no. Oh gosh, I think I avoided taking damage there just. And uh, there's not a lot of healing, um, not, not a lot of food here as well. So you do need to be careful with your health. Uh, the mages in this uh, level shoot uh, frost balls. Um, I still like using the flare wand for most uh, most situations. Uh, we can use the snow as well to walk across the uh, spikes. And uh, there's a secret up here. Just across to the left um, is a chest. We do need to deal with this mage. I will probably just use the fireballs. I've got full magic. So I may as well combat his ice with my fire. And I may as well just very carefully see if I can pick up this uh, this red ruby there for an extra 50. Uh, we've got a secret, uh, a bomb, another trapped secret, but uh, let's pick up the pink gem for 200 gold. And uh, just continue across, there's the first checkpoint. I find the first checkpoint in these levels is usually the one that's uh, the furthest away. Um, we can just push the statue and uh, run across the, um, well it's a rainbow I guess. Uh, deal with the mage there and uh, we do need to bring a statue up between these two blocks and I'm not going to worry about picking up all of these all of the gems so I'm just going to head across here to the right and uh, there's a Viking. Just 
deal with him before I get up there. It might make things a little bit easier. There we go. And I think there's a chicken over here. No, there's an apple. It gives us a little bit of health anyway. Um, I'm not just grab. I'm gonna worry too much about these gems. You can bounce off this creature and um, pick up these gems. I'm not gonna worry about it though. Let's continue across here to the right, and uh, I think the fireballs will work well against these guys. <clears throat> okay, back to full health, which is good, and uh, just. Finish off him with a fireball and let's carry on. I think that's the second uh, checkpoint. There's another three to go before the boss fight. And uh, up here to the left is a, another little secret. Fairly easy to see, but um, yeah, we do need to make, it, make our way across these spiked platforms. Not too difficult. And uh, here we have Chester. He's got another deal for us. So yes, we're going to purchase this the Warhorn for 4,000 gold. If we buy it in the village, it will be more expensive, so I may as well buy it here. And uh, we do get to test it out. Let's wait for them to get closer. There we go. It uses up quite a bit of uh, magic, although it is very good. Okay, um, uh, just trying to think which path I should take here. Uh, there is a fishing spot down there. I think it's the Truple Trout to fill up one of your chalices. So I'm not going to worry about that uh, too much. Let's, let's bring this up. I think there's a few more of these. Oh. Uh, yeah, when there's a ladder here, I can't... Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness. Um, actually, I can use uh, use the statue to kill these creatures. So, yeah, I might as well do that rather than trying to shoot fireballs at them. Uh, let's head across here to the right. Uh, oh, no! And I uh, just need to bounce across these uh, up to the... Up to the gem here as well. And... Um, Not too difficult, that one. And that is, I think it's the third checkpoint. Uh, this, look like, this looks like a good spot for a... Uh, for an anchor. Um, I'm not going to bother with those gems over there to the left. Uh, just in case I do die there, but... Oh. Alright, this guy's annoying me now. Let's take him out quickly. I just break my way down, hit across, and we should bounce off a little dragon here. And uh, this is the first music sheet uh, for the level. It's not too difficult to get to. Oh, except those platforms are very, very slippery. Whew. Okay, so let's go and just pick up the gold and the music sheet here as well. Um, it's gonna jump. Oh, Oof, goodness. They are, whoa, they are very slippery. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, uh, back here again. Let's deal with the uh, the wolf. And uh, there's a chest over there. Let's um. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with this, this dragon here as well. Would be good to, um... Oh, no. Okay, so I've been having a bit of difficulty here trying to get to the uh, the next music sheet. Um, oops, I think I need to um, bounce off this creature up to here and then jump across. Yes, that's the music sheet. Beautiful. Um, I think I really want the... Oops. Now I want the um, uh, fireballs. Oh, gosh. Uh, is there any other reason to keep this little dragon alive? I don't think so. Let's just uh, let's take him out. Um, I've got both of the music sheets. So if there is another secret, it's probably just going to be with the gems. Um, just avoid the uh, little snowflakes coming down there. And I think we can head across to the right. And we should be pretty close now to the boss fight. Uh, I think we can restore our health here with a chicken. Um, I'm still going to use the fireballs, I think, to fight this boss. Okay, whoop. Whoops, he's got oh, spikes. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the Eker of Boldness because I'm a little, really worried about dying to those spikes. That should give me um, 10 seconds of health. Yes, just enough to take him out. Whew. And uh, that is the level complete. Uh, there's nothing special here back at the campfire. So I'm just going to uh, to get up and uh, let's dig up the uh, the campfire again, get a few extra extra coins, and we've got almost 19,000 gold now, and that should remove one of the locked gates heading across to the east, and uh, there's two more main levels to um, to complete, and we also have a new little character who's appeared, and uh, we'll encounter him in the next video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon for more Shovel Knight.